Welcome to top trending open source GitHub projects this week. Part one, get ready to explore a curated list of incredible innovations. We're diving into projects that are truly redefining what's possible in tech, from ultra lightweight text to speech like Kitten TTS that runs anywhere, to revolutionary AI coding agents such as OpenSWE, and even cutting edge object detection with FCOS. Discover how these open source tools are making advanced capabilities accessible, efficient, and surprisingly powerful. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Kitten TS, ultra lightweight expressive text-to-speech. Kitten TS stands out because it manages to deliver high quality expressive speech from a model that's incredibly compact, runs anywhere on just a CPU, and is completely open source, truly redefining what's possible in TS. At its core, Kitten TS is a developer preview TS model, weighing in at less than 25 megabytes, powered by just 15 million parameters, roughly one-fifth the size of similar models like Kokoro 82M, making it the smallest, decent-sounding TS engine available. But this mini size doesn't mean mini performance. It offers eight vibrant voices, four female, four male, that are surprisingly expressive for such a tiny model. The biggest edge? It's truly CPU only. No GPU, no cloud dependency, just real-time TS on your everyday devices. Laptops, phones, Raspberry Pi, even low-end computers. For devs who can't or don't want to rely on heavy cloud infrastructure, this is a game changer. Plus, it's open source under the Apache 2.0 license, meaning you can freely use, modify, and integrate it. No licensing headaches, no hidden fees. Perfect for both personal projects and commercial applications. For creators like you featuring Kitten TS on YouTube, the real magic is that it's lightweight, fast, expressive, and accessible to anyone. You can demo it live, show how little it consumes, and let your audience imagine embedding it in smart devices, DIY kits, or offline apps without any bulky overhead. That's what makes Kitten TS unique. The rare combination of tiny footprint, real-time performance on CPU, expressive voice diversity, and open source openness, all wrapped in a model small enough to fit in a pocket, yet powerful enough to bring voice to literally anything. Project number two, teaching. Open source information retrieval courses. This teaching materials repository stands out by offering a uniquely engaging and interactive way to learn advanced information retrieval right from the heart of TUVEEN's award-winning courses. What makes it special is its hands-on, openly available approach. You get beautifully structured lectures, complete with recordings, slides, closed captions, and transcripts, all aligned to help learners explore state-of-the-art IR topics like BERT-based retrieval, evaluation metrics, and neural search, all in one place. The magic lies in how this isn't just a passive resource library, it brings genuine classroom energy online. Lectures are carefully designed to not only share theory, but also to encourage active learning through GitHub discussions where students worldwide can ask questions, collaborate, and sharpen their understanding. That interactivity turns remote learning into a lively experience, helping ideas stick better. Add to that, the course is built to be modern and inclusive. Inspired by the explosive shift to BERT and Neural IR since 2019, it delivers foundational concepts like indexing, evaluation, word representations, and test collections through a deep yet clear structure aimed at the next generation of search engine innovation. Whether you're new to IR or have some background, the content scales, each lecture builds clearly on the last, supported by transcripts for accessibility. Finally, the course's open source nature under a GPL 3.0 license makes it easy for educators and students to adapt, remix, or expand the material in their own teaching or learning environments. It's not just a course, it's a living, open, collaborative ecosystem, combining clarity, interactivity, and cutting-edge research in one thoughtfully presented package. In short, this repository shines because it's accessible, interactive, deeply educational, and built for the modern era of neural information retrieval, all wrapped in a community-oriented, open-source format that invites participation. Project number three. FQOS, fully convolutional one-stage object detection. FQOS stands out because it strips away the whole anchor box framework that most object detectors rely on. Instead of managing a massive bank of anchors with all their sensitivity to size, scale, and aspect ratios, 
FQOS treats every pixel as a potential detection point, a per-pixel prediction strategy that mirrors semantic segmentation. This bold choice makes FQOS not only conceptually cleaner, but also avoids the heavy tuning burden of anchor-based schemes. In simpler words, you don't need to mess with anchor configurations anymore. What's more, FQOS couples this simplicity with impressive performance. While eliminating anchor boxes and proposals, it still outshines anchors-based one-stage models like RetinaNet, SSD, and even faster RCNN in mean average precision, while being significantly more streamlined. On Coco Benchmarks, a Resnex 64x4D101 version of FQOS hit 44.7% AP, better than previous one-stage detectors, even with single-model, single-scale testing. Another clever element that makes FQOS unique is the centerness branch. It identifies how close a prediction is to an object's center and downweights detections made at the edges, cutting down on low-quality bounding boxes before applying simple non-maximum suppression. This adds a smart filter that boosts accuracy without complicating the pipeline. All these smart moves pay off. FQOS not only works faster, requiring less training time, 6.5H versus 8.8H, and offering quicker inference, 44 millimeters versus 56 millimeters per image compared to faster RCNN with the same backbone, but it's also easy to integrate. The GitHub repo includes implementations using Detectron 2, models hitting real-time speeds of 46 FPS, and options with VOVNet or HRNet backbones. All in all, FQOS is unique because it ditches anchors, works per pixel, uses centerness to clean up detections, delivers top-tier accuracy, and keeps things light and fast. Project number four, spatial reasoning. Reasoning systems with tool use as strong zero-shot object detectors. We spotlight what makes this tool truly unique. At its core, spatial reasoning introduces a clever method that empowers large vision language models, VLMs, which often understand scenes well, but fall short in pinpointing object locations, to act as accurate zero-shot object detectors without any additional training. Here's how it stands out. Unlike traditional models that rely on fixed bounding box training, this tool arms VLMs with external visual tools, a grid overlay to orient their vision, dynamic zoom and cropping to hone in on areas of interest, and seamlessly integrates external detectors like grounding dyno when needed. This inventive system allows the model to reason spatially by giving it a grounded map to translate its conceptual understanding into precise location predictions. Another standout feature is how it preserves streamlined reasoning, eschewing verbose chain of thought prompts that often lead models astray. Instead, it keeps the reasoning internal, shorter and more focused, which has shown to reduce hallucination and significantly improve accuracy. Imagine a model that knows what it sees, like recognizing a barely visible logo or subtle sign, but can't act on that understanding. This tool bridges that gap by transforming semantic recognition into actionable detection through smart tool-aided prompting. It's not about heavier models or more training data, it's about strategic tool integration that makes spatial reasoning accessible and robust in real time with zero additional tuning. In essence, spatial reasoning makes VLMs act more like human visual explorers, choosing where to zoom, when to invoke a detector, and how to translate understanding into coordinates, all at inference time. Project number five. Screen Coder, advancing visual to code generation for front end automation. Screen Coder isn't just another screenshot to code tool, it's a modular, multi agent system that brings visual understanding, layout planning, and code generation together in a smart, interpretable way. Unlike traditional models that attempt to go from image to code in one shot, Screen Coder breaks the process into three clear stages grounding, planning, and generation. In the grounding stage, it uses a vision language model to detect and label UI components, buttons, text fields, images, so the system truly understands what elements exist and where they are. Next, the planning agent constructs a hierarchical layout, leveraging front-end engineering principles. This means the tool doesn't just see components, it arranges them in a sensible structure, mirroring how developers think and build UIs. Finally, the generation agent takes the structured layout and synthesizes clean, editable HTML slash CSS through adaptive prompt-based methods, resulting in high-fidelity code you can tweak and deploy quickly. What truly gives Screen Coder its edge is interpretability and control. Instead of a black box result, you get a transparent pipeline, ground the visuals, plan the layout, generate code, all of which you can inspect, tweak, and improve upon. 
It's much more robust and predictable than monolithic AI tools. Moreover, Screen Coder isn't just smart, it's scalable. The framework includes a data engine that automatically generates massive sets of image code pairs, which are then used to fine tune an open source vision language model. This reinforcement helps the system continuously improve its understanding and the quality of generated code. In experiments, Screen Coder achieves state of the art performance in layout accuracy, structural coherence, and code correctness, outperforming previous end to end approaches by a solid margin. Project number six, GPT OSS recipes. Optimize scripts and notebooks for OpenAI's GPT OSS models. GPT OSS recipes stands out as a uniquely practical toolkit crafted by Hugging Face for harnessing OpenAI's newly open sourced GPT OSS models with efficiency, flexibility, and accessibility in mind. What truly makes this project special is its suite of ready made scripts and notebooks that demonstrate how to run, optimize, and fine tune the GPT OSS models, both the 20 B and 120B parameter variants using modern techniques like tensor parallelism, flash attention, expert parallelism, and LoRa. These scripts simplify device mapping and help the model adapt dynamically based on your hardware configuration, whether you're on a single GPU or a distributed multi-GPU setup. Another standout is the fine-tuning support. The inclusion of an SFT.py script enables both full parameter training and more lightweight LoRa tuning, empowering users to efficiently adjust the model to specific tasks or datasets. This makes it accessible to a broad spectrum of developers, from those with limited compute resources to those operating on powerful clusters. The project also integrates seamlessly with Hugging Face's broader tooling ecosystem, leveraging TRL, PFT, and Transformers libraries, unlocking powerful workflows like multilingual chain of thought fine tuning, tool invocation like web search or function calls, and agentic behavior. This smooth integration enables users to adapt the open weight models to real world scenarios, from local experimental setups to production grade deployment. Finally, GPT OSS Recipes brings openness and accessibility to the forefront. By supporting both high-end 120B and consumer-grade 20B models, providing automatic optimization and aligning with open weight design principles, it lowers the barrier for developers to experiment, innovate, and integrate GPT-level capabilities without having to build tooling from scratch. Project number seven. Open Source Asynchronous Coding Agent. Open Source at DRE stands out because it isn't just another AI assistant. It behaves like a real software engineer, operating autonomously in the cloud. Built on LangGraph, it truly handles the full coding life cycle. It digs into your code base, plots a solution, writes and tests the code, reviews its own work, and submits pull requests once it's confident, all without human intervention. What makes open source at DRU uniquely powerful is its human-in-the-loop flexibility. During the planning phase, it composes a detailed strategy and then pauses, giving you the chance to accept, modify, or reject the plan before anything is coded. And it doesn't get thrown off if you decide to tweak requirements mid-run. Just send it a message, and it adapts on the fly. Another standout feature is its deep integration with GitHub. You can kick off tasks directly from your repository using GitHub issue labels like open source L auto, and the agent follows your existing workflow, creating a tracking issue, updating its progress there, then opening a pull request when done. The infrastructure behind open source is also a differentiator. It runs each task in its own secure sandboxed environment, powered by Daytona, ensuring isolation, persistence, and safety. This setup supports long running tasks, potentially up to an hour, including running shell commands and tests without needing each step to be manually approved. Behind the scenes, open source Vial follows a multi-agent workflow. A manager handles routing and user interaction. A planner analyzes the code base and drafts a plan. A programmer with a built-in reviewer executes tests and iterates until the code meets quality standards, then wraps up by opening a pull request. In essence, open source Vial is unique because it blends powerful autonomy with thoughtful control, tight GitHub integration, and robust cloud-native engineering, making it a truly collaborative agent that feels like another engineer on your team. Project number eight, TouchNet, a native PyTorch n-dimensional parallel library for large-scale multimodal LLM training. TouchNet is all about pushing the limits of training large multimodal models, especially those that handle both text and audio using only native PyTorch, and that's what sets it apart. Unlike other frameworks, TouchNet doesn't rely on heavy abstractions or third-party trainer classes. Instead, it gives you total control by keeping the training logic simple, contained in a single script. That means no hidden layers, no mystery, 
just pure code you understand and can customize. One major feature that makes TouchNet stand out is its blazing fast checkpointable data loader. It uses a brand new storage format for sequential tar files that lets you randomly access large multimodal data efficiently, plus smart sequence packing powered by flex attention to squeeze performance from every batch. Another powerful advantage is TouchNet's built-in profiling tools. Forget juggling external profilers, this library includes NSYS-style CPU-GPU profiling, memory diagnostics, and even a flight recorder for capturing performance issues. If your code leads to out-of-memory errors, TouchNet's memory monitor will help you trace and fix them faster. Parallelism is another win. TouchNet seamlessly integrates PyTorch's native APIs like FSDP2, Tensor Parallelism, Context Parallelism, and even Pipeline Parallelism still in the works, with minimal code changes. That means you can scale across multiple GPUs without rewriting your model. Finally, TouchNet lets you plug in hugging face models like Llama or Llama for ASR, and train on tasks such as text pre-training, audio pre-training, and ASR, all with an intuitive API. You'll ditch the clutter and dive straight into what matters, your model, your data, your process. And that's why TouchNet is unique. Whether you're a researcher training multimodal LLMs or a developer needing full visibility into your training pipeline, this tool gives you simplicity, speed, control, and scale. Project number nine, PatternCraft. Production-ready CSS and Tailwind background pattern. PatternCraft is a standout tool that lets developers and designers instantly enhance their web projects with ready-made, modern background patterns and gradients that are production-ready. What makes it truly unique is that every snippet is crafted using modern CSS and Tailwind CSS, ensuring seamless integration into front-end frameworks like React, Next.js, Vue, or Angular. Unlike generic snippet libraries, PatternCraft offers a live preview feature and organized pattern categories, making it effortless to browse, preview, and choose exactly what fits your design vibe. And here's the best part. There are no extra dependencies or frameworks. All patterns run on pure CSS and Tailwind, optimized to be responsive and ready for cross-browser compatibility. Another thing that sets PatternCraft apart is its use of JSX, STSX snippet format exclusively. These patterns are designed from the ground up to work smoothly in component-based stacks. So if you're using React or Next.js with Tailwind, the code drops right in. It's a developer-first approach that makes integration painless and fast. Also, the tool is fully open source, hosted on GitHub and powered by Vercel. That means the community can contribute, personalize, and expand the pattern library, and it's free for everyone. Project number 10, Golama, a CLI and TUI Olama model management power-up. Golama stands out as a tool dedicated solely to empowering you to manage your Olama models with ease and efficiency. Unlike general purpose AI tools, Golama tailors its interface specifically for handling Olama model operations, offering both a text user interface, TUI, and command line interaction for seamless navigation and control. What makes Golama truly unique is its intuitive and focused TUI that lets users instantly view, sort, and manipulate models right in the terminal. You can list all available models and see key metadata such as model size, quantization level, family, and last modified date, all in one glance. You also get powerful interactivity. Hotkeys allow you to run or unload models, copy, rename, delete, update model files, or link models to LM Studio, all without leaving the terminal environment. Another standout feature is its ability to tap into the Olama Capabilities API to fetch detailed model info, making model management smarter and more context aware. Speaking of linking, Golama simplifies integration by enabling users to connect Olama models to LM Studio, something that previously required separate tools like LlamaLink beyond the UI and linking, Golama continues to evolve with ongoing development. Recent versions introduced features like copying models to remote host, spitter, and editing modal files in your preferred text editor. This adaptability demonstrates its forward-thinking design for both everyday use and advanced workflows. In short, Golama's uniqueness lies in its laser focus on Olama model workflows, a richly interactive terminal-based interface, deep metadata insights, streamlined linking capabilities, and continual enhancements, all geared towards making your management of local AI models faster, more enjoyable, and entirely under your control. And that wraps up our deep dive into some of the most exciting open source projects this week. From making complex AI models more manageable with Golama and optimizing large language models with GPT-OSS recipes and more, 
If you found this helpful, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more content on open source innovations, and let us know in the comments which project you're most excited about. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.